When you get the 7610, this is what it looks like. Okay, so how do you go from blah to something a little bit a little bit better in my opinion? And this video doesn't do justice to the LCD on the 7610. It looks much, much better in person. I've got the colors adjusted on my camera so that it brings out a little bit of the waterfall. But then it, it turns the background blue and it's not blue. This is just a different view of the LCD. And I'll show you how to change that or go back and forth. But uh, the change in the waterfall is something simple. And the default, I, I just don't like. When I, you know, I got the radio, I wanted to go in and change it. So to change it to something different and make it look a little bit better, in my opinion, just go to the spectrum scope, bring it up, hold down set. I'm going to scroll up to the very top. And I changed a few of these. And on the, uh, the first screen, uh, I don't think I changed very much. I changed the marker position on the fixed type to carrier point, and I like that better. Uh, averaging, I've set to 3, and the waveform type, fill plus line. These three I did change. I'm not sure about the others. I'm going to go down to the next page, and I change the colors. The waveform color... For current, I've just had black. The waveform color line, I've changed it to a green. You can adjust it to a green, a shade of green that you like. The uh, maximum hold, I have turned off. That is the second one on the first screen, and I believe uh, this is different. So turn that off. The waterfall display on. The waterfall speed, I have set to fast. And the waterfall size, the expand, I set to large. And there's uh, just minor differences in this setting. If you change it from large to mid to small, uh, minor changes, uh, it's hardly noticeable. On the third screen, the waterfall peak color level, I changed to a grid 6. Uh, the waterfall marker auto hide, I have on. I didn't change the fixed edges yet. Uh, the dual scope auto select is on. I believe that's the the same uh, as it came with the radio, the default. The dual scope type side by side. I like them side by side. It's just easier for me to see and, and work with. So we'll exit out of here. And there are so many different views that you can have with this radio. It's just fantastic. I love it. It's just like having a new radio almost every time I turn it on. I can change the views. Let me show you another area where I change the meter types. If I push menu, set, and display, I have my LCD backlight all the way down, and that's for the recording of the video. But boy, I turn it up and it's just so bright and nice. The same with the LED bright. The LED goes with these lights over here, and you can turn it up or down. The display type, I like the B. It gives you some color. If you have the A selected, then you get this. And it's the black background. So I, uh, I go back and forth between them. I like B an awful lot. Uh, the display font, I think I changed that. Now, those aren't a big deal, but the uh, the meter the meter type the meter response standard and edge wise, I have set to slow. Uh, the meter type the normal screen standard, and then the meter type for the expand screen edge wise. Uh, a few other things uh, I don't think I changed in here. I don't even have my external display turned on at the moment. I have an external display and I've used it in the very beginning. And I just don't use it that often so I turn it off. Look at the last page. You can put your call sign in there. 
uh, the external display resolution um, nothing else changed in there go ahead and hit menu and I go back out and there are just so many different looks let's take a look at uh, dual watch when I hit dual watch oops when I hit dual watch I'm gonna go over here and just go down just a shade there's a station in there and if I want to see the dual scopes just tap dual scope and I get them both just so many nice looks to this let's take a look at the meter with the dual scopes Boy, that's just fantastic. Let's take a look at the audio with the dual. These are the mini scope or the the mini the mini scope. If I want to bring back up the spectrum scope, hold it down. I get the spectrum scope. I can turn off the dual. Turn off dual watch. notice the meters have changed this is different than the default let's go back and take a look at one of my favorite views is just having the meter and then the mini scope up above it and I really like these meters on top take a look at the audio scope again there you go and I like this one if I'm getting some interference if there is a, uh, a signal in here that I need to get rid of I can simply touch the multifunction knob and turn on the notch filter and the auto notch just does a great job just fantastic boy just super so that's how I have my spectrum scope set up push it again and again this video that you're seeing doesn't do it justice you have to see it in person this is fantastic I love it I don't really have any strong criticisms against the 7610 ICOM put the radio together this way for a reason there are some people that don't like uh, accessing the notch through the multifunction knob I don't see a problem with it you'll notice the the clock when it's the mini or uh, the spectrum scope is expanded you don't see both clocks but when I reduce it you see uh, the local time and then UTC and I, I really enjoy having both of those on there on my website www.k0pir.us I have a short article on why I chose the ICOM 7610 over the Flex 6400M. Okay, that about does it. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. Thanks for watching my video. Please visit my website k0pir.us. I have articles on the 7610 and the 7300. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. 73 and good DX.